looking out on the Mediterranean Sea because this is the month of June and every year in the month of June in the Mediterranean Sea the fishermen go after the bluefin tuna and this bluefin tuna most of all most of which is shipped to Nihon Koku the land of the rising sun my fellow citizens and friends in Japan that's the kids and usually for the past couple of years Sea Shepherd's been there why we're going there to make sure they don't exceed the quota you better stick by the quotas because we Sea Shepherd we're monitoring it and we'll tear the cages apart to let the nets to let them loose but I didn't see Sea, sea Shepherd Sea Shepherd's not in the Mediterranean gee where can they be they're not going to be there you see to engage in a Mediterranean campaign this season is quite costly. That money is better spent keeping Pope Paul the Watson a fugitive. Now, I'm led to believe, and I can't verify this, that he's enjoying the fugitive life in Australia, waltzing with Matilda on the island of Tasmania. And that costs money. Never mind the bluefin tuna, catch all you want. Sea Shepherd won't be there. We gotta support the fugitive to keep him a fugitive. And the sea suckers continue to donate. Now, when the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals issued an order to Sea Shepherd to stay beyond 500 yards of the Japanese whalers in the Southern Ocean and labeled them pirates, most people's Sea Shepherd supporters said, What are you nuts? They have no jurisdiction in the Southern Ocean. And my reply was, never mind the jurisdiction in the Southern Ocean. It's the ramifications as a result of this order that we need to watch and be concerned about and take joy. Well, now is the time for one of those ramifications. Sea Shepherd's insurance company, which insures them against liability, is the Great American Insurance Company. And last week they filed to remove themselves as the insurer for their liability, meaning they no longer <laughs> want to be responsible for Sea Shepherd's liability based upon that court's ruling. What was that again? A ramification. They have no jurisdiction. See? It comes home to roost. Now, recently Sea Shepherd on one of its Facebook pages and forums on the internet makes an announcement that Mr. A.D. Gill is suing us for 50 million dollars which I have to say really or as we say in Japan Majikayo that is a lie if not possibly a fabrication they're bringing it up now because they need money from sea suckers around the world you hear $50 million, you want to help pay for that. That's all your money goes for. Have you noticed that? Is to pay for lawyers, lawsuits, and verdicts. The lawsuit that Mr. A.D. Gill filed was for $5 million, not $50 million. So where's the cult group coming up with this other $45 million? Well, that's why I say it's possibly a fabrication. Because one of the items in the lawsuit, first one is $5 million, is punitive damages, which can amount to nine times the amount asked for. Now, let's, let me explain that. If Mr. A.D. Gill wins the lawsuit, he gets the $5 million. Now, if the judge or jury wants to expand that further, they can award punitive damages anywhere up to nine times the original award. But very rarely in cases like this are punitive damages given. The lawsuit once again was filed for $5 million, not $50 million. C. Shep is telling a lie, if not a fabrication, so they can get money from suckers around the world. That's it, kids. You suckers keep on donating. Because when you stop donating money to them, this organization ceases to exist. Then what am I going to do? All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Gee, no sea shepherd in the Mediterranean, kids. <laughs> <laughs>